Boombox is a sound design toolkit and audio library for Adobe Premiere and Adobe After Effects. You can perfectly sync up studio quality audio with an interface and tools designed for professional animators. All of the audio is royalty free and studio grade quality. There are more than 4,000 custom sounds to add a professional polish to your work, and you can even add your own sounds to the library to keep everything in one place. So this is why you should be using Boombox by Mount Mograph. Not only does Boombox ensure all the sounds are great quality, but they also have custom tags to help you find the right sound quickly. They even have cue points to enable you to quickly line up the sound with your animation. What I find pretty cool is that they have sorted the sounds into different packs with a visual image and a name to give you an idea of what type of animation they could be used for. For example, Data Break for glitchy animations, Realm of Night for medieval animations, Characters for, well, characters. According to their website, they are planning to release a new pack every month and it's a lifetime license, so that's pretty cool. Here's an animation I prepared for this tutorial. You can download the project files from the link in the description. I'm going to start the sound design from scratch using Boombox and we can work through it together. So if you open the project file, you should see a few compositions in the comps folder. You wanna go ahead and open the master composition. In here, you're gonna see an animation layer and a sound layer. So the sound layer is a sound that I already did, but we're gonna work through it together. So you can go ahead and delete that composition. So you should just have one animation pre-comp and we're going to add the sound to this composition here uh, where it's needed. So let's just watch it through once. Okay, so I think we're going to need a sort of creaking sound as uh, the ball comes down onto these platforms. So like one there, one there, and then a sort of thumping sound when that hits the ball. And then a kind of rolling sound as it goes through the tube, and maybe a little sound as it exits the tube here. The idea I had here is that as the ball goes across, it kind of spins these spinners and then the spinners whack the bells. So we might need a little spinning sound and a bell sound as it goes across and then a sort of thump as it goes into the bowl and maybe a final little sound when it falls down. So let's open the Boombox plugin. So if you go to Window, once you have the plugin installed and you go to Extension and then Boombox. And it might open in a separate window but you can just drag it to where you want in your layout. Here you can see all of the sound packs I was talking about earlier. If you double click on one of them, you can see all of the sounds that are included within it. So for example, this Agent Zero pack, if you double click it, you've got a few different categories in here, user interface, electronic, mechanical, and you can preview their sounds by clicking them here. You will have to install each pack separately as Boombox, I think, doesn't want to, by default, take up loads of space on your hard drive but go ahead and download all of these packs from within the interface. There should be a small download button, although I can't see that because I've already downloaded them. What I like to do is to download all of the packs and then simply use the search feature to search through all of them at once. Once they're all downloaded, we can start searching for sounds and it's gonna search in all of those packs. So to search, you can click the magnifying glass here at the top left, and we're gonna search for Creek. And there's a bunch of different creak sounds here, so let's just listen to a few. I kind of like this one here. So let's add this to the composition by pressing the plus. You can see it's added here a layer with our sound. But there's actually a better way of doing this, so just delete this again. Let's move the cursor of our playhead to where we want the sound to start and let's press the plus again. You can see now it's added the layer to where our cursor is. Specifically it's added the cue point of the layer to where our cursor is, not the start of the layer. So you can see here this little grey symbol. And for all their sounds Boombox has a cue point which helps to line up your sound with the animation exactly. And let's also add one here. Let's say line up our playhead to about here and click the plus again. Let's listen to that. Cool, and I feel like we need a, a sort of whoosh sound as it releases and goes up. So let's search for swish. And let's listen to a few of these. Oh, 
let's let's use this one. So let's line up to where we want the whoosh to be, I'd say about there, and let's press plus. Let's see that. And let's do the same on this one, but maybe use a different whoosh sound. Maybe this one, slightly higher pitch. Let's have a listen. That sounds good. And now we need a thump here for when this panel comes down and thumps the ball. So let's search for thump. Let's try this one here. Press the plus. And now we have this. Sounds good. And now we want a rolling sound. So maybe let's search for roll and have a, have a listen to a few of these. I quite like these onion roll sounds. Maybe let's add a few of these. So it starts rolling at around here. So let's add a onion roll. Let's have a listen. And we're gonna add a few here, one after another to kind of increase the randomness. So let's try onion roll five, about there. Move it along a bit. Onion roll two. Onion roll one. Maybe another one of onion roll four. Let's have a listen. Perfect. And then maybe a little whoosh sound as it exits the tube. So let's search for swish again. Let's try this one, small switch two. I like that, it's a little bit too loud, so I'm just going to twirl down the layer here and maybe minus 10 the volume. Yeah, okay. Now, what happens with these bells is that you can see here on this frame, this bell is kind of starting to swing. And for each bell, when it gets hit, we want a bell sound. So maybe here, when this panel here is hitting the bell, we want a bell sound. So let's search for bell. Have a listen. Okay, these are quite good. So let's add a bell sound here. So I position my playhead right at this point at which I want the bell. And we press plus. Okay, and let's do the same for this one here. Press plus again, maybe with the different bell sound, just to add some variation. And again, so I'm just pressing control and left and right arrow to shift one frame so I can find the exact frame. So it's gotta be this frame, I think. So let's press plus again with rusted bell one. And again, I'm just gonna press control, right arrow, shift forward a few frames and add this bell sound. Let's have a listen. I think it sounds a little odd that they vary from one to the other. Maybe I'll just have them all as the same bell sound actually. So let's just remove all the rusted bell twos and add back in them all as the first variant. So rusted bell one, there and um, another one, the final one, like this here, press plus. Okay, let's have a listen to that. I think that's a bit better actually. And then finally we want a sound when the ball hits the bowl. Let's just search for bowl. I don't think that quite works. Let's just try instead to search for a, another thumping sound. This sort of sounds like it could be a metal bowl that it's hitting. So let's try that. So I'm gonna just place my cursor exactly where I want the sound to be, which is pretty much there and press plus and let's have a listen yeah that can work and then we need a sort of sound when it falls i think another wish or another swish
maybe this rapid swish here and I'm gonna place it when it starts to fall like here maybe let's have a listen yeah that'll do I think the final detail we can add is as the spinners turn we want a sort of spinning sound so let's search for a spin sound listen to a few of these I quite like this. So let's add that sound when they start spinning here. And have a listen. I feel like it gets quieter towards the end, so I'm gonna add another one halfway through just to kind of keep it going a bit longer. Let's try that. maybe one more bearing spin which kind of fades out a bit better yeah okay so let's have a listen to the final product so hopefully you can see from that how easy it is to add sound to your animation using boombox so guys, I hope you found this video useful. I honestly think this plugin is pretty amazing and I think it's going to save me so much time. I think using Boombox in conjunction with their other plugin, Wonder, could give you some pretty powerful capabilities and save you so much time by allowing you to stay in After Effects and Premiere rather than crawling the net for audio, images and video. If you're planning to buy this plugin, you can also use code HOLMESMOTION at checkout for 10% off. I also get a small commission so you'd really be helping me out and supporting the channel. Thanks guys, see you in the next one.